Hello guys, welcome back uh, for the new episode of Learning Norwegian. Today we'll talk about uh, Tala, which means the numbers. So first of all, we will listen to what uh, the woman says and then I'll explain further what can I add in this. Tide 13 Tall 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eller 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 30 31 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 101 200 345 1000 5623 10 000 100 000 1 million Med trykk 1 penn Hvor mange penner har du? Jeg har bare 1 Ei pølse hvor mange pølser spiser du? Jeg spiser bare ei. Et eple. Hvor mange epler kjøper du? Jeg kjøper bare ett. Så so this was all about uh, the numbers and the complexity of the numbers. So first of all we will focus on number 8 which is otta and the same is 18 which is atten so otta and atten these two are uh, uh, misunderstood in the pharmacy when a customer comes and asks uh, for something which uh, contains the numbers for example 8 or 18 so we always ask them again uh, how many you want then he says otta or atten so these are uh, similar the other thing uh, that is important to learn is uh, not the one, two, three, but the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, because uh, in the pharmacy uh, people will pronounce or people will say their fourth um, cell statu, the date of birth, uh, not in these numbers but uh, the trend is the say it like uh, i was born the 2nd of june 2019 or the 3rd of uh, july for example like this so you guys need to learn that as well and in that sen uh, sense it's like uh, the number one is first number two is andra number three is Tredia, number four is Fiara, number five is Femta, number six is Shetta, number seven is Shuna, Elersivana, number eight is 
Atunda. Atunda. Number nine is Nienda. Number ten <coughs> is Tienda. Number eleven is Elefta. And so on and so forth. Number twelve is Twelfta. Number thirteen is Tretenda. Number fourteen is Futenda. Number fifteen is Femtenda. Number sixteen is Sistenda. Number seventeen is Sotenda. Number eighteen is Atenda. Number nine is Nitenda. And number ten is Shuenda. But uh, number twenty is uh, again it's tricky. Uh, some people say it Shuenda, and some people say it Tivenda. So you need to memorize both of them. Tivenda or Shuenda. So, for example, my date of birth is third June, nineteen eighty-nine. So I will say it like Tredia i Shetta Ottini, just like that. So that was, I think, all about uh, the numbers, and uh, the next one was. Uh, these uh, sentences that uh, the lady say, said it in the voice and it was in an pen I polsa et epla pen means pen polsa is a, a thing to eat uh, I don't know what's that called in English. I have forgotten, but uh, will you you guys can just uh, Google it or translate it. Apple means apple. So why do you think uh, these different uh, uh, nouns have uh, n i at in first place? So we will discuss this uh, in detail in grammatic or the grammar portion of the language but uh, for a summary N is for masculine words uh, those words which are masculine uh, for example in English we used to learn we used to memorize the masculine feminine when we were kids in the school so here N is used for masculine words i is used for feminine words and et is used for uh, neutral words and uh, in grammar portion we will discuss this in detail with bestemt and ubestemt forms so i think uh, that was almost uh, about uh, the numbers you guys need to uh, memorize the numbers or oh, the ordnance uh, style is here so it's all it's also uh, in the book first andra tredia fiara which i already discussed so you guys need to memorize these words as well and uh, the years 1990 1998 1998 2000 2000 and so on and so forth so i guess i guess it was all about uh, uh, the numbers <coughs> And the next in the book is coming the story of uh, Teresa, which is from Philippine, and Nikos, Oyvind, Yulanta. These are the characters that are coming next in the book. Osa, Samira, Karim, uh, 